again, here I am standing in front of 30 Cleek Club. This is a golf course property. It is a three bedroom, four bathroom. Let me turn the camera around, I'll show you the neighborhood. So 30 Cleek Club, this is on a cul-de-sac street. There's the cul-de-sac right there. And it's cloudy, stormy, kind of cold day, but otherwise you can get some pretty nice views of the mountains. So there's the neighborhood. It's an attached two-car garage. There is a fenced yard. There's a large drive-through gate. So you've got parking for an RV here. You also could open that gate and actually put your RV or camper or boat or whatever inside that fence line. It's a nice patio in the front here. This would be a great spot in the summertime to get it in the shade. And we will try to update this video later. Uh, I didn't want to wait to get this on the market, but this house is under renovation. So it has not been cleaned. You'll notice some tools laying around and stuff, but we'll update that later. Beautiful living room here in the entryway, wood burning fireplace. This is a real hardwood floor, great shape. There's a sliding glass door leading to the backyard. There is a second sliding glass door leading to the side yard and a large patio. Got what could be some garden area there. It's fully fenced. There is an automated sprinkler system. The controller is out in the garage. See a nice fireplace. Faces two different directions. I love this nook. It's great for uh, setting up a TV. And I do have some pictures of the property furnished to give you an idea of how it lays out. Here we've got a nice uh, dining area. This lamp or chandelier is on a dimmer. Got newer vinyl windows. Another nice sliding glass door. Again, that's leading out to the patio. Let's take a look at that. Oops. Here you can see additional parking area. Nice patio here on the side, leading back to the backyard. There's even room for a small breakfast table here, separate from the dining table if you wanted. Tons of storage in this kitchen. We've got a nice fridge with water and ice. Electric stove, flat top stove, mounted microwave, trash compactor, functional, dishwasher, garbage disposal, nice light over the sink. I hate a sink without a light. Got a really nice kind of wood finished uh, backsplash there. And additional countertop space and storage space. So that'd make a nice workstation. If you want a little office space or something. Here we have a pantry. There was a coat closet up front by the entrance and the living room. And this door leads into the garage in one of four bathrooms. Nice laundry area. This has a walk-in shower, toilet, and sink. This one is an electric uh, heater. It's on a separate heating system. And then out into the two-car garage. The garage does not have a walkout door, but it does have a roll-up door on an opener with remotes. You've got a nice storage area back there that'd be perfect for a workspace. Just additional storage, maybe a freezer or something. You've got a freezer over here. You notice that they do have it mostly insulated. And there's also space up in the upper portion for additional storage. There's no shortage of storage in this place. Okay, so that covers the main floor. 
Next we'll go upstairs and you see we've got some new carpet down, new vinyl flooring. We've got a linen closet on that end of the hallway. First bedroom, nice size, overlooking the backyard. Ceiling fan. Bedroom number two. About the same size, ceiling fan, nice big window. And then the bathroom. This is a full bath. Again, it has not been cleaned yet, but. Got a shower. Updated vanity and sink. Nice uh, raised toilet with those handicap height toilets. And then this would be the master bedroom. It does have an attached bath. Nice big window. You could look out to Heart Mountain from there. It's just too cloudy to see it today. Got an extra large closet with some built-in shelves for additional storage. And that's my ugly mug. The master bathroom with a beautiful shower. That's all tile. Again, an extra elongated bowl toilet. Then you see nice vinyl flooring throughout the upstairs. Make it easier to clean. Hardwood on the main floor. New carpet on the stairs. This is older carpet, but it will be cleaned and ready to go. Great wood accents. This basement, again, has lots of natural light. These are not egress windows. It still let in a ton of light. We've got storage under the stairs. That also accesses the crawl space. Nice big closet for storage there. And then we have this wet bar. So we've got lots of storage space, dual sink, refrigerator, garbage can storage, and then again, another bathroom. Take it back to this one, just another walk-in uh, shower. The more modern surround. The heat in this home is hot water baseboard. You'll see the baseboard running throughout. And take a look at this furnace. So you've got a newer water heater, 2017. Some additional storage space. I don't think I've ever seen a furnace that small. We have three different zones, heating zones. So you've got temperature for the basement, the upstairs, and this one is number three. Doesn't say what it's for. I'm guessing it's the main floor. But three different zones there, so that could reduce your heating costs by keeping certain areas toned down. So there you go, that's 30 Clique Club. I hope my special effects and high-tech editing are not too much of a distraction and you're able to see the home for what it is. If you want more information about this property, you'd like to set up a showing or start the application process, check us out online at AmericanWestRealty.com. Thanks.